Hello everybody, welcome back on the channel. My name is Pasquale, I'm, I'm your host today. And today in this new video, we're gonna deep dive into speciality reads, speciality reads. Reads are one of my most favorite assets and actually have a big portfolio of 19 position in reads. But this time analyze some particular reads called specialities because they're very special. I believe these reads can find a way to go into a portfolio which is well diversified because I believe having only these reads in the portfolio can be quite dangerous and risky, but anyway, it's your money. Whatever I'm saying in this video is just my personal opinion and is not an invite to invest and is not financial advising. Before to start, I remind you that anytime in this video you can leave a thumbs up if you like our content, air subscribe and click the notification bell if you're new to the channel and you want to receive notification for the new videos. Well, before to start and see these six amazing speciality reads, let's see what a speciality reads is. And from the Narit website, the way, uh, the Bible of reads, we can find here a definition of speciality reads. Speciality reads own and manage a unique mix of property types and collect rent from tenants. Speciality REITs own properties that don't fit within the other REIT sectors. Examples of properties owned by Speciality REITs include movie theaters, casinos, farmland and outdoor, outdoor advertising sites. But that's not all because you'll see while we go and see these six amazing Speciality REITs. Just a few data on the uh, index. At the moment, the NARIT uh, Speciality REIT index is made of 10 REITs. A uh, average dividend yield at the day I'm recording this video is 5.61%. A year-to-date return, total return is 14.24%, which is quite nice. March total return, uh, I'm recording first days of April of 2021, is 3.27%. And a total return in 2020, minus 8.24%. So let's see these uh, six amazing speciality reads and see what they do and how they can make us rich or well. I don't know, probably they won't. It's your study. Let's start. First read, one of my favorite, Gladstone Land Corporation. A read I actually own in my own personal read portfolio. Ticker symbol land and uh, Gladstone Land is a read that invests in farmland located in a major agricultural markets in the US, which it leases to farmers and pay monthly distribution to its stakeholders. So they own crops, basically, farmers can take these crops and they pay a rent to Gladstone Land. What are the data of this particular REIT? At the moment, uh, he has a market cap of 545 million US dollar, a dividend value in four cents and a previous quarter FFO of 24.28 million dollar, a dividend yield of 2.79. And this is one of the lowest dividend yield we are gonna find in these specialty REITs that I'm presenting today, but because he had during the past period of time a huge growth. In one year, he gained 58.08%, which is quite amazing for REITs, considering the REITs I usually uh, see as the dividend factories, uh, the in this case, probably the, the dividend farms, but it's not only dividend when it comes to REITs. I REITs that I love very much, and uh, you can See, if you go deep into their uh, public shareholder presentation, investor relation presentation, how diversified they are. And if you like some of the reads I'm presenting today, please let us know so we can go and analyze deep one of these reads. The second reads is again in the farming industry, Farmland Partner Incorporated, ticker symbol FPI. Farmer Partner Incorporated is an internally managed real estate company that owns and seeks to acquire high quality farmland throughout the North American addressing the global demand for food, feed, fiber, and fuel. So what we see now here is that this company produces food in North America, but for the whole world is not for the local consumption. The company takes pride in its heritage in farming and see the partnership with its farmers, which are tenants, as key of its long-term success. The dividend paid at the moment is 0.05 cents, the previous quarter FFO is 17.62 million with a market cap of $370 million and a dividend yield of 1.36%. And in this case also the dividend yield is quite low, but because the growth in the past year has been 84.76%, I'm pretty sure it overtook many of the growth company on the market now. 84.76% in one year is a hell of the capital gain. The third specialty reads is quite nice. 
is called Postal Realty Trust. Take a simple PSTL. What does Postal Realty Trust do? It's an internal managed real estate company that owns and manages property leased to the United States Portal Service, so the Postal Service of the United States of America. The company portfolio is comprised of 271 postal properties located in 41 states with over 871,000 and more net leasable interior square feet. The company, through its taxable REIT subsidiary, also provide fee-based third-party management service for an additional of 404 postal properties, leased to the USPS and owned by family members of the company, CEOs and partners. The last paid dividend value was 22 cents. There's no market cap mentioned here, but we're going to check it out soon. The previous quarter FFO is 3. 07 million dollar and a dividend yield of 5.14 percent the capital gain of the last year return has been 18.85 percent market cap of this company at the moment of the recording is 237 million dollars vc properties is the next read ticker symbol vc and this company is also a very nice reads vc properties incorporated is a premier owner of developer of best in class gaming hospitality and entertainment destination that provide exceptional customer experiences. VC Properties partners with leading brands that are committed to driving customer loyalty and value through great service, superior product and cost of innovation. VC strategy is to create the nation's highest quality and most productive uh, experiential real estate in portfolio. They basically are in, in entertainment field. Last pay dividend value is 33 cents. Market cap is more than 15 billion dollars, so it's quite uh, big, almost 16. Previous quarter FFO 800, $835 million and a dividend yield of 4.63%. The capital gain for the one year return for this REIT has been amazing, almost 86%, 86.56. Then if you're not a farmer, you don't work in the postal service and you don't like to game, then you can go to jail because the last two REITs are CoreCivic and the Geo, Geo Group. CoreCivic, ticker symbol CXW. CoreCivic is a diversified government solution company with the scale and experience needed to solve to govern challenges in cost-effective ways. It provides a broad range of solutions to govern partners, including high-quality correction and detention management, so jails, innovative and cost-saving government real estate solution, and growing network of residential reentry centers, so the center that helps people to go back into the society or correctional uh, buildings. Market cap is 926 million. At the moment, the dividend yield has been stopped, so they are not uh, issuing dividend. Uh, for specific reason, I believe that the market of the detention and the correction uh, facilities has been quite hit uh, from the, the pandemic because, of course, all the money issued by the government has been diverted to much more day-to-day -day matter, let's say, uh, helping people not to lose their job or 12 people they lost their job to buy food. And so this market for the detention and correction has been probably uh, hit quite hard at the moment. We see also from the uh, capital gain, last year return has been minus 21.26% for this read and a previous quarter FFO of 321 million. What I believe is that in next foreseeable future, this asset class and this um, kind of read can get capital gain because once the pandemic get, uh, once we get over the pandemic, we can see a capital appreciation also for this kind of reads. Of course, this is not financial advising, it's just my opinion. And the last risk is the GEO group, ticker symbol GEO. We also see that this read is in detention and correction field and also add a minus negative return, minus 23%. The GEO Group is a fully integrated equity and real estate investment trust specializing in the design, financing, development and operation of secure facilities, processing center, a community reentry center in the United States of America, but not only there. We also have Australia, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. GEO is a leading provider in enhanced in custody rehabilitation, post release support, electronic monitoring and community-based program, program. Electronic monitor, monitoring is those kind of um, bracelets they put on legs on a uh, whistle uh, where they can let people in detention go move freely because they are followed by this automatic electronic device. GEO kept the dividend with a last bid dividend value of 25 cents, a dividend yield of 12.38%, uh, which is 
quite nice. A market cap of almost $70 million and a previous quarter FFO of $311 million. So this is the six seats I believe are in this specialty REITs, the one that I love the most, but they are not the only one. And for this, if you have more REITs you like very much in this category, just leave us a comment below in the section provided. Or if you like this video, please like us, leaving a thumbs up so we understand you like this content. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't lose any more content. And that's all for all. My name is Pasquale and I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye.